traditions of each generation who remained working in Italy. All the other ones immigrated in France. Okay, so he's uh, habilitated associate professor of mathematical physics and Cherche Gertatore of Standard Material in the most ancient thematic university in Italy. Is this uh, university is gathering students all over Italy and using uh, Skype and video recording lectures. It's rather efficient uh, very often to recover people who are willing to come on this. Okay, so I leave you. So thank you. So this uh, uh, this is uh, in fact a work uh, that I developed that we that the authors developed uh, on the basis on uh, this paper in European Journal of Mechanics, and um, and it, we will um, discuss a pre-stressed solid fluid mixtures. Uh, studied with uh, with wave propagation, and we will see the um, I mean the paper uh, was based on uh, the kinematics on the left hand side, in which we have uh, uh, two reference configurations, that of the solid and of the fluid, and one actual configuration and two placements: the placement of the solid and the placement of the fluid. We will, and this is what we generally called a uh, superimposed continuum and we will uh, discuss the analogy of this uh, method with uh, another method with another kind of, uh, of kinematics that we will call uh, uh, continuum with micro microstructure in which, in which we have only one reference configuration, one actual configuration and the kinematics is uh, assumed to be, uh, to be described by one placement uh, and one only a uh, single scalar uh, coefficient, a single scalar kinematical quantities, a kinematical quantity, uh, on which we want to subsume all the microstructure that we need. And we will see uh, some result with uh, with this uh, method in uh, in in a study, in a quasi static case in the next presentation by Giorgio. Ivan Giorgio. So, uh, what, what, about the mixtures with two components, we have a porous mixture saturated with fluid uh, that, that is characterized, in fact, by the solid and fluid uh, species, in the sense that one point of our uh, continuum is the representative volume element of a certain microstructure that is uh, um, defined by the mass distribution of, uh, the, of its species. Generally, in the, in the literature, uh, we will see this, and we will deal with this, uh, with, mm, with this um, balance of uh, masses and moments of both species, uh, where the following the constitutive equations that we will see are, have been uh, assumed. Uh, these constitutive equations are assumed by the, um, a, a certain um, um, form of the specific uh, ex, uh, internal energy that characterizes the material in this way, in which the two Cauchy stress tensors are defined in this way, and also the interaction between uh, uh, solid and fluid have been defined here, in which we can see the first two terms of M are the so-called uh, non-dissipative non term of the interaction between solid and fluid, and the third term is a classical uh, Darcy uh, the, the classical Darcy dissipative term. Uh, with the following uh, classical assumption, we, see, we assume also that uh, the specific internal energy is uh, objective, quadratic in the uh, gradient of displacement and in the perturbation of the fluid phase uh, density. Um, with this, uh, with this uh, hypothesis, uh, we define the pre-stress in this way. When the um, gradient of uh, uh, displace, solid displacement and uh, 
perturbation of fluid phase uh, density are zero, then the, the stress tensors are equal to uh, the uh, pre-stressed. Uh, in this, with this assumption, we, we can develop this uh, specific internal uh, energy in which we see the, the, the pre-stress of the solid and of the fluid that are linear with respect to the gradient of displacement and to the uh, phase uh, fluid mass uh, perturbation. Then we have uh, uh, the solid uh, part that is quadratic with respect to the gradient of displacement and we see that in this part this, the prestress of the solid has a role. Then we have the fluid part that is quadratic with respect to the uh, fluid phase uh, perturbation density and then we have the interaction, the conservative interaction between solid and fluid. Uh, if now we uh, we have this further restriction so that we can we assume that uh, also the stress is uh, as is a, as a pre stress that is spherical the uh, conservative interaction term also is spherical and we assume uh, isotropy in the behavior of the solid matrix then we have the equivalence of the um, of the model that uh, Giorgio will present in the next presentation with this I put, with this uh, uh, with, uh, in the representation in the quasi-static case. Here we, uh, we show uh, briefly the uh, equations in the dynamic case that we want to, sh to use to, to, to study uh, with this uh, form, in, the, in this form. So in, we study the wave propagation. So we, we assume this form for the solution and we arrive to these uh, equations and that, that gives you also the dispersion relation of, the, of our medium that are here represented in a formal way. If we decompose the solid and the fluid between uh, transverse and longitudinal part, of course in our assumption the transverse part of the fluid will become uh, zero, uh, we can see uh, the, we see that the, the dispersion relation is uh, uncoupled into the transversal part and into the longitudinal part. Uh, among others, the analysis of such dispersion relations can be done to study uh, the linear instability or the so-called marginal uh, stability. What I mean? I mean that we can assume a real wave number, a complex uh, frequency, uh, if we analyze, if, when, in the case of negative uh, imaginary part of the frequency, because of the, of the way of the solution, we have uh, linear, uh, the so-called linear instability, and uh, this, uh, if we analyze the imaginary part of the frequency, the real part of the frequency from which we can uh, derive the phase velocity, uh, um, uh, the analysis of zero phase velocity it means uh, uh, analysis of marginal stability. For uh, if uh, now in, in the space of, uh, of pre-stress uh, that are spherical, so we have P0S and P0F, uh, the region of, uh, um, of non-instability is a same space for transverse waves. For the longitudinal waves, uh, the, um, the region are a little bit more uh, complicated, and if we insert some numbers in a short region of uh, the pre-stress of fluid and of the solid, the non-instability region is, can be seen here in the gray, in the, in the gray part. Uh, now, what do we, we want to say? Um, um, these are the attenuation coefficient of uh, the uh, P1 and P2 waves uh, when we um, increase, uh, ah no, because, okay, these are the, 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 the non-instability region. If we want to, to analyze the, the interface between non-instability and, and instability region, um, we can, um, we can um, increase the pre-stress and we will see how, what is happened to the attenuation coefficients um, in, the, in these pictures. And here there sh we show the attenuation coefficient for P1 and P2 waves, and if we um, go 
um, in the first line and in the second line from left to right, we increase the pre-stress. So we go from stability to instability, and we see that the roles of uh, P1 and P2 waves, P1 waves are the longitudinal wave that uh, uh, travel in the, in the solid phase, and P2 in the, in the fluid phase, uh, ah, you, you can see that we have an, an interchange of role across the instability border. And the same for the phase velocity. Uh, in, the, um, in the upper part uh, left side, we have uh, a classical uh, uh, picture for the uh, P1 and P2 waves. Uh, so with a reasonable number of pre-stress, if the pre-stress go is, uh, is increased, at the end, in the, in the, in the right at the bottom uh, picture, we can see that the phase velocity is now, the phase velocity of the solid, so the P1 velo uh, phase velocity is zero. And we see again an interchange of the role. And here are the classical um, um, picture of P1, P2, and S waves of uh, these uh, mixtures uh, that, um, that can be extrapolated in, uh, with this uh, simple model. And uh, not only the velocity in the, uh, in the upper part, but in the bottom part also the uh, attenuation coefficient. Uh, for now we can do a, a parametric analysis with respect uh, uh, to the, to the pre-stress of the S phase in the, uh, in, uh, so in the, in, in, the, in the upper part we see the attenuation coefficient and phase velocity of S waves um, and each, each curve is denoted by a kind of pre, um, a value of the pre-stress. The same kind of parametric analysis cannot be done with the uh, interaction coefficient uh, because the S waves are uh, typical only for the solid phase this, uh, b because uh, um, these uh, transverse waves travel only in the solid phase. Uh, the, um, on the contrary, for P1 and in the following slide also for P2 waves, uh, this analysis can be done uh, in the first uh, line for the pre-stress and in the second line of pictures for the, uh, also for the, the uh, conservative uh, um, interaction uh, coefficient. We see, um, so we can do a parametric analysis in terms of pre-stress and in terms of this conservative interaction coefficient for P1 waves and also for P2 waves. So, we, we have shown that uh, uh, if the pre-stress vanishes, then with the low conservative interaction coefficients, we have uh, non-instability. And uh, we have shown that uh, uh, the pre-stress, as well as the interaction coefficient, it can be shown with these equations, uh, can induce instability. So, higher the pre-stress, higher the, in the instability, as well as the uh, interaction coefficient, as we expect, in fact. In transverse waves, we have no restrictions on the values uh, of the pre-stress of the fluid that we have seen, and the fluid, uh, why? Because the fluid does not have shear stress components. Uh, the theory gives uh, uh, a quantitative prescription on the admissible values of pre-stress once we have the conservative interaction coefficient uh, that, is, that can be used for uh, characterization of your material. Uh, so it, it is possible to analyze the stability of a situs evaluating the, the state of pre-stress. The role of pre-stress and uh, the conservative interaction coefficients have been investigated and we have finally shown the conditions for the present mixture to be equivalent to a monophasic continuum with a simple scalar microstructure, and as we, you can see uh, in, the next, uh, in the next presentation by Giorgio. So, thank you. Okay, so thank you.